sun-baked earth, the invisible heat, the endless search for water. This the typical picture of Mandera County, located at the northeastern tip of Kenya, bordering Ethiopia and Somalia. But Ahmed Suez is determined to change this landscape little by little. Three months after the supply of Ghana, I have Guria. Now this is two and a half months. This is the supply. Yeah, two and a half months throughout. Be umbarna only be. He started at the top on the edges of River Dawa, cutting through the Kenyan-Ethiopian border just six years ago, when he bought the land. After he has planted a thousand more popo trees and countless lemon, mango and guava trees in his 14-acre piece of farm. These trees are zote inataka from Nairobi to a grafted. Nimekuja na ndee. Kila miti unaona hapa. Na hiyo ni barbaroni. He says his grandparents were poor and neither did his parents manage to acquire the goats, cows and camels that seem to be the obvious possession of every homestead in this part of the country. Afraid to end up poor as well, he took a bold decision to retire at the age of 25 and plunge into the unknown waters of farming. <laughs> The permanent river Dawa has made his dream to be a successful farmer come true. Daily, I'm going to be 30,000 cubic meters. Much from. I'm going to tank, storage tank. In a beba, I'm going to 30,000 liters. In all, he has invested over 10 million shillings to transform the once barren parcel of land into a productive one. He now stands tall among Mandera's most depended upon food suppliers. Mm. He never seeks out the buyers, though. Buyers from his Mandera town and across the border in Somalia and Ethiopia come to the firm to buy the produce. So what does he make from this orchard? Hiyo faida ni kidogo. Mimi siangalie faida. Mimi naangalia kitefucha. Watu wa Mandera. Kwa sababu watu wengi wanakujanga kwangu, wanaangalianga vile nimefanya hiyo planning hiyo shamba. Wengine wamechukua wa ideas already. Umaanza zao. The shift from pastoralism to farming so as reckons will be a slow process precisely because it entails changing an age-old way of living. Wengine hata hujui kama shamba iko. Perhaps if more people in Mandera and other arid and semi-arid parts of the country emulate Suez's economic lifestyle, the pictures of desperation that have defined the drylands for ages will be buried in the past as abundance becomes the new normal. Sir Vichabet, Citizen Weekend, Mandera.